going to be a work in progress. And uh, we always deal with everything as though it is live. Concerns over the streetcar for Cincinnati firefighters. Why the concern and their plan of attack? And Cincinnati firefighters facing a new obstacle, the electrical wires that will power the streetcar downtown. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Hayes. Mike has the night off. And good evening to you. I'm Cherie Palello. So there is a lot to take into account here when it comes to the new overhead high-voltage wires. WLWT News Vice John London is live for us along the route to show us some of it tonight. John. Yeah, the rule of thumb, Cherie, is at least 10 feet away from the overhead streetcar wires at all times, like the ones that you see here at 12th and Jackson that potentially pose a problem if a ladder rescue is required from the upper stories of a building. 12th and Race is one corner of concern. Consider the tangle of high voltage needed to run the streetcar system, wires 20 feet up from the ground. The early test phase is underway, meaning any portion could be electrified at any given time. It's something we haven't dealt with. Uh, although we deal with overhead wires all the time, these are a little bit different, the current's different. The central core has many high-rise buildings along the 3.6-mile streetcar loop. We watched this afternoon as poles for the overhead contact system were put in place in front of 21C. So in the event of a ladder truck rescue here... We can sectionalize the overhead wire so that certain sections can be shut down and the rest of the streetcar route would still be hot. Firefighters will be schooled about all this by Transdev, the company selected to manage the system. It's a learning process. Just ask Rumpke. No more lifting dumpsters like this one. Here along the route, they're fenced and emptied a different way so as to remain more than 10 feet apart from the overhead lines. The bigger concern is people who might be doing, for example, rehab and over the Rhine. They have a ladder up to put up a dish uh, of some sort. You know, for their TV, they've got, you know, construction going on. Look up, look out is the catchphrase, and you can clearly see why. Safety is stressed. Workers were fated with a luncheon today to mark 150,000 work hours injury-free. The chief has a number for instant service to make sure overhead voltage is off or can be shut off before fire crews arrive. It's a necessary adjustment for a new system. We do a dangerous job. We're always dealing in areas that are dangerous. So we just have to prepare ourselves as best we can to deal with it. And this type of thing has been dealt with in other municipalities like New Orleans. Cincinnati Special Operations Chief and Training Chief are looking at other systems. Too early to know if any new or different kind of equipment will be needed. Reporting live in Over the Rhine, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John, great information. Fire officials stress they've been at the table already working on and planning for all of the safety aspects of the system for well over a year now.